Hi everybody, and welcome to this week's installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer questions asked by Photoshop Elements Facebook fans. Today's question comes from Bob, and Bob asks, I recently took five group shots of the same seven people in the same posing. In every photo, someone different has eyes closed, turned down mouth, etc. What's the easiest way to combine the best expressions into one photo? Well, Bob, we've actually got a feature that we call group shot that's built to do exactly what you're asking about. So I'm going to start off here in the Elements Organizer, where, of course, I keep all of my photos and videos. And I'm going to do a search for group shot, because I know I've got some photos labeled group shot. All right, so here's a bunch of different photos with different groups of people. These four right in the beginning here, I think, uh, hopefully represent something similar to what you're trying to deal with. So I'm going to select all four of them, and I'm going to open them up in the Elements Editor. All right, so now we've got all four of these photos opened up in the Photoshop Elements Editor, and I can switch between them. So here's the first one, right? Big group of people. Some of them are looking good. Some of them are looking the wrong way. Some eyes are open, closed, faces turned the wrong way, etc. And I can quickly go through them and see that uh, between all of them, I've probably got a good shot of every single person, but not all people are looking good in a single shot. So what I do is come up here to the Enhance menu, and at the bottom of the Enhance menu is a selection called Photo Merge. And Photo Merge is a set of features, actually, that are all designed to merge multiple photos into one perfect shot. So the one you're looking for is something called Photo Merge Group Shot. So I'm going to go ahead and select Photo Merge Group Shot, and Elements pops up a dialog, tells me we need some photos, and I'm just going to say Open All, which will open all four of these photos in the Photo Merge Group Shot feature. Okay, here we go. So now the Photo Merge Group Shot feature is opened up. I've got my four photos along the bottom. You can see each one has a different colored border around them. We'll get to that, uh, what that color means in just a second. But the first thing I want to do is decide which one I like the best. And so as I click on each of these, they'll show here in the left. So there's the blue one, uh, there's the yellow one, there's the green one, and there's the red one. And I can click around until I decide which one is sort of as close to being a good shot as possible. And once I figure out which one that is, and I'll pick the blue one, I just drag and drop it over here on the right. So now I've got my final image over here. I'm starting with that blue image. And I've got the other images available to me here. So if I click on the yellow image, or the green image, or the red image, or even the blue image, I can still see that on the left-hand side. So let's start with maybe this image here. So you can see this guy in the background. In this shot, my blue shot, his arms are down. In this shot, his arms are up. He's having a little more fun. In fact, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on, right? So that's more fun, more interesting. This is my red shot. And what I do here is just simply come over here, make sure my pencil tool is selected over on the right-hand side. And then right up here, I just drag across this shot. And you can see over here on the right-hand side, it will blend whatever pixels I drag over from the red image into the blue image. As a way of showing that happening, this little checkbox right here, Show Regions, if I check that, you can see most of my image is from my blue image, but a little bit is from my red image. So let's just zoom out so you can see the big view, right? So we've got this guy with his arms up coming from that red image. So I'm going to turn that off and then start to make some other decisions. So maybe this guy on the right, in the red image, uh, he's uh, holding the beer bottle up and saying cheers, got a friendlier, friendlier look on his face. I want this part. So again, make sure my pencil tool is selected. And just paint over this part of the image. And watch on the right there, he's automatically blended right in. I'm going to show my regions again, just so I can figure out how this image is being stitched together. Again, lots of it's coming from the blue, a little bit is coming from the red turn that off. All right, so I can look around this image and decide other parts I might want to fix. These two ladies right here in the center, this is not the best shot of them. Again, let's zoom in a little bit. So we can see, right, um, not a great shot. In fact, this red image, it's not a great shot of them either. So I can poke around and find the one that I like. And I actually like the yellow image. So again, make sure my pencil tool is selected and then come over with the yellow shot highlighted, just paint around where I want to pull some pixels from that yellow image. And 
You can see here on the right, it's now blended that piece in. Again, let me zoom out and turn on Show Regions. So now you can see we've got mostly uh, bits coming from the blue image, some coming from the red, Im red image, some coming from the yellow image, and we can decide just exactly how we want to blend this image together. All right, the next thing I notice is this guy right here in our yellow image, we can see his face. But in our blue image, which is our final now, we can't see his face. He's hidden behind this other lady. Again, let me zoom in so you can kind of see what's going on. There he is. We want to be able to see him in our final. So again, make sure your pencil tool is selected and just paint over him. So we'll paint a little more yellow here. And you can see he pops out of the image there and suddenly we can see him. So double click on the hand to zoom back all the way out. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the green image that might be interesting to pull across. Uh, yeah, I actually like this lady in the front. I like her a little better from the blue image. This is uh, not, you know, not a bad smile, but not a great one. This one's much nicer here. So just make sure again, my pencil tool selected. I've got my green image selected. We're going to paint over her face here and blend her into that image on the right. So we're getting pretty good now. I'm going to show my region so you can really see what's going on. I've got some of the blue image. I've got some of the red image. I've got some of the green image and some of the, the uh, yellow image all blended together just by simply scribbling over the part of the image that I like. There are some advanced options. Um, once I get this done, um, I will come down typically and turn on pixel blending. You can leave it off. You can turn it on. Pixel blending just does a little nicer blending of the images together. Oh, there's a mistake here. I noticed before we finalize this, let me zoom in here. Uh, that's not looking so good. That doesn't look natural at all. So let's go find a nice image, some red. No, not so good. The yellow's not so bad. Uh, the blue's pretty good. So let's, again, come back, get our pencil tool, paint a little blue over her face here, and maybe down into her neck. There we go. So that's looking much better than it was before. So zoom all the way out, show regions again. So now we're pulling her from the blue and not the red, I think it was. And just like that, we've blended everything together. When we've got it looking like we want it to look, just hit Done. And Elements will go ahead and stitch together a brand new image of the blending of those four different images as I showed it how to blend them using the Photo Merge tool. There we go. Here's our final image. Let me uh, close my photo bin and uh, open this up a little bit. And you can see the nicely blended images with bits from the four different photos all merged together in Photo Merge into one. Actually, what I would do to finalize this photo is grab the crop tool and just kind of crop into this group a little bit better, cutting off some of the bottom and some of the top and um, make the photo just look a little bit nicer by cropping it in. So there you go, Bob. That's how we use the Photo Merge Group Shot feature in Photoshop Elements 11 to blend together different bits of different photos to make that perfect photo. Take care.